All right. So let's knock out the mundane stuff. You're Lumen. I know that. You're from Augusta, Georgia. Um, if you want to go ahead and like introduce yourselves, that'd be great. I'm Mark. I do vocals. Uh, I'm Kiefer. I play bass. I'm Ryan. I play drums. I'm Jevin. I play guitar. And I'm Devin. I also play guitar. <laughs> So, I just said you're from Augusta. How long have you all been doing Lumen? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's very yeah. sporadic. I've <laughs> I've been writing this stuff for like two years, and it was just going really slow because it was just oh, I have time off work. I'll just go over and start writing with someone or whatever. And then eventually, I brought, I started bringing people in at random amounts of time, and uh, it just started going. And once it started, it didn't stop. So. So, um, if you've been doing it for two years, what were the rest of you all doing, like, before Lumen? Any musical endeavors that are fun and interesting you'd like to talk about? Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you got this. perfect question. Uh, I, I also play with a band called Invoking the Abstract, and um, I've been playing with them since 2012. But uh, back to Lumen, I've been playing with them since about December of 2017. Okay. So, I, I just hopped ago. on. They hit me up. And I listened to the stuff. I really liked it. So 
I hopped on board. So you just signed Eminence. Like that's been, what, about January that you all signed, I think I read? Yes. Yeah. How's that been for you all? So that's a pretty big deal. <laughs> I, I mean, it's been, like for me, it's been kind of unreal. It's, you know, I guess it's kind of like everybody's, you know, as far as playing music, it's kind of everybody's dream to get a record deal. So mm. for me personally, like it's been a lot of fun. Um, I mean, with anything, there's road, you know, bumps or whatever, but we just get over it. And I mean, it's, we've got a good opportunity because we're on the road with our good friends and curses right now. And that was something that we couldn't have done without, you know, the help from Eminence. And yeah, it's just, it's just, it's been a lot of fun. We've learned a lot um, and we're just, you know, going to continue to move forward from here. Let's talk about that tour with Curses. This is your debut tour, right? Yes. How's it been on the road? What do you think about it? <laughs> the, the roads? Or... It All right, both. On... Talk about the roads. Because I know Tennessee's driving. got good roads. Yeah, West Virginia doesn't have good roads. Mm. No, I, don't, I don't even know where we were. The entire time, the weather has been horrible. We have drove through a blizzard. It was terrible. Coming down the mountain in what, West Virginia? Yeah. Visibility was horrible. I mean... We're from Augusta, Georgia. We don't get that. It doesn't, we, it doesn't snow where we're from. It just doesn't happen. If it sticks, it's a big deal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, and if it does stick, it's it's gone the next day. Yeah. You just put out your EP, and it's Sharing an Eye. It started streaming last Thursday. What's the reception been so far, as far as streaming goes? Yeah, I think it's been really good. Um, I think overall, everybody's receiving it really well, and that's just exciting. We've got a lot of positive feedback. And then your um, your actual release show is Tuesday, right? right? What do you all expect to get out of that release show? Oh, man. Well, it's going to be lit, fam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm all our friends and family that have been, like, waiting for this to yeah, happen, yeah, dude. It's, it's all gonna, the local shows. It's going to be so fantastic. There's that we definitely have a following. Yeah, yeah. especially yeah. with curses coming with us as well. Uh, it's going to be awesome. We're so ready for that one. <laughs> I just don't want to disappoint our local friends. <laughs> like yeah. show up and like something happens and <laughs> just everybody's like, "Oh wow, they are not good." <laughs> What's all the hype for? <laughs> Sharing and I. What's the concept of that? Oh, if you man. want to talk on it a little bit. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. This is all me. Um this is all you. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of a nerd, so I really like anime and it's about Naruto. Specifically the story about Sasuke and his brother and their whole journey and it gets dark. So I think I say kill in every single song. <laughs> so <laughs> it's violent. Yeah, it's violent. It's <laughs> violent. The first song is about um his older brother killing his entire family so yeah it's really that's, that's yeah really intense. It's, it's, it's fun it's pretty yeah. metal it's a good metal <laughs> concept yeah <laughs> Let's break free.
edgy. So clearly you get influence from anime and Naruto. Where would you say you get your musical influence from? Oh, wow. Dude, that's a good <laughs> that's one. That's a loaded question. That is a very loaded question. <laughs> Every I, This one's hard. We're, that's one we might have to do like person by person because all of us are completely different. Like, you start. Well, you know, I, I started, I like instrumental metal, uh, prog and stuff. Jevin listens to like 80s hair metal and, uh, you know, old school rock and stuff. And then he listens to, uh, I don't even know. Mark listens to all sorts of things. Too, too many things. Yeah. Kiefer likes hardcore stuff. A little bit. And he likes the prog as well. And the death metals and whatnot. So, I like it. Here, I don't know what you. Yeah, uh, yeah, I like it. I like it all. Like just I mean, everything that they all like, I have in common with. So, so it works. Yeah, it meshes really well. Most of what I listen to is more like metalcore side. When I first started writing, super into Eye the Breather. So, I feel like Same. Moon Reader really reflects that. Yeah. Rest, yeah. In, rest in peace, oh, I am breather. Uh, <laughs> we miss you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I went to their uh, farewell show in Atlanta, so that was worth it. And um, a lot of the other parts, I was just like, I want to do something like this in this band. So it's just every single part is a different band. So there's like architects in there, they're sworn in, all kinds of stuff. So anyone else? I mean, it, it was cool with that, too, because when I came into the project, he had, like, two songs written and then, like, a third and fourth riff that he kind of threw together. And uh, he, him being a vocalist and not, like, a diehard guitar player, he was like, all right, so this is what I have. Just come mess it all up and do your thing. And, I, yeah. you know, and so me and Devin started doing that. And it just, it just went from there, you know, like, you know, getting to take what he had and just kind of throw our flavor on it and make it, make it even better than it was. Oh, and it did. It did. It was, there was, there were so many parts. I'm like, I don't even want my part. Just destroy it. Do whatever you want with it. And they delivered. So. You mentioned Sworn In. I've had the pleasure of seeing Sworn In like twice, maybe two or three times. I can't remember. Anyways, they have impeccable stage presence. Are there any bands that you all like, like to model your live show after or you pick up on that have really good live shows we don't play like them just because we're just not at their level yet <laughs> but every time i die will has always and will always put on the best show those boys go hard like they just they play and they don't stop until their set's done and that's i mean we we have a flow to our set you know, and it it, fl it follows the the EP. Um, you know, it, it kind of starts, and we just go and go and go, and we have our little pauses, but they're not very long. But I mean, that's that's who I try and model whenever I'm playing a live performance because I'm always just blown away by them and the way that they present themselves, and uh, it it's wonderful. And they're also, I mean, like top two favorite bands of mine forever. So they're just they're awesome. Yeah, I and they can't put out anything bad. I kind of just uh, do what I want. Same. <laughs> I, just, Same. I don't care. I'm not really too concerned with how I look entirely. Um, I've seen like videos of like, I'll just be doing nothing. I'll just be staying there like screaming, whatever. And they'll be behind me all headbanging. And that, that looks cool for me. So I'm good with it. I try to not be a mouth breather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Too many times you'll see drummers just drooling on your snare and, you can literally see it like splashing up when they hit it. It's bad. So I try to I try to think about my facial expression, but not too much because then it messes me up. And then I get thrown off. And what are we here for? We're here to listen to the music, right? I feel personally attacked by that because I breathe out of my mouth the whole time. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. Oh, I, I have to breathe out of my mouth because it's the same. It, I'm constantly just yelling. After the and, first song, I'm so wore out. I've got to, I can't just yeah. breathe through my nose. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely like it's not. I know I say I do what I want. I just stand there, but I'm definitely moving around and I'm winded eventually. Yeah. But got to keep powering through. All right. Now on to the important questions. If you were to pair your new EP with a pizza, what kind of pizza would it be? 
Supreme. Uh, Your, yours would be Supreme. It does have a little bit of everything. That makes sense to me. But it's refined. <laughs> I was just going to put it with my favorite pizza. My, nah, man. Chicken, artichoke hearts, and banana peppers. Because that shit is delicious. That sounds what? good. Dude, it's delicious. As long as it doesn't have what's, it, what's an artichoke heart? What? I don't even know what that is. What? It's the heart of the artichoke. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Mystery solved. Okay. Jeez, I can't believe Mark doesn't know what an artichoke heart is. They're good. They're good. Okay. I'm, it's whatever. You're strange. I'm very strange. We already knew so, that. Okay, Supreme. Yeah, I'm down with that. Strange. No. <laughs> he's not even agreeing with the pizza he's agreeing with me being strange <laughs> supreme strange Hi. well that's all I have for you thank you for sitting down and talking oh yeah thanks for, oh, having, thanks for us. having us thanks for yeah. having us yeah this place is awesome it's a good time Try my best, not try my best. You'll cross my dreams.